We are learning new details in the shooting rampage at a food festival in Gilroy, California. We now know the names of the three people who were killed. The youngest, six-year-old Stephen Romero, shot while playing at a bounce house. 13-year-old Kayla Salazar and Trevor Irby, who just graduated from college at 25. More than a dozen others were hurt. Tonight, five are still in the hospital. The gunman used an assault-style rifle bought legally in Nevada. He was shot and killed by officers who were armed with handguns. Tonight, police are searching for a second person. We have two reports. Janet Shamlian has more on the victims. But we begin with Jamie Yukis on the attack in Gilroy. The gunfire and panic was recorded on cell phones. The fear in people's voices unmistakable. Oh, this woman was arm's length from the gunman. And he took the clip out and he put another clip in and he started walking towards our tent and he just started shooting, just started shooting everywhere, just shooting. Festival volunteers Carlos Rodriguez and his daughter Diana dove for their lives. And to watch a family just hide and pray for their lives is something that no father should ever have to experience. You saw that. I saw that. It was just sheer chaos. Oh, Oh, they shoot him. We have an active shooter at the Garlic Festival. Copy, we got one shooting victim. I need an ambulance. Oh. Okay. Police say the gunman, 19-year-old Santino William Legan, cut through a chain link fence, then opened fire with an AK-style assault rifle. A minute later, at 542, three Gilroy officers opened fire, killing him quickly. In all, three were killed, aged 6 to 25. More than a dozen were injured. At least five of them are still hospitalized with gunshot wounds. You know, it could have gone so much worse so, so fast. Gilroy Police Chief Scott Smithy. I think it's very, very fortunate that they were able to engage him as quickly as they did. CBS News has learned police are seeking to question a second person in connection to the shooting and that investigators are still trying to figure out Legan's motive. Just before the shooting, he posted a photo apparently from the festival using a derogatory term for mixed race people and referring to an author with white nationalist views. Jamie Yukas joins us tonight. And Jamie, what are we learning tonight about how this 19 year old bought that gun? Well, Nora, officers say he purchased the assault rifle legally in Nevada earlier this month. That state has a legal buying age of 18. And what's interesting here is that in California, they actually changed the age to 21 earlier this year. So I asked officers, did the 19-year-old move to Nevada specifically to buy that weapon? But police say it's just too early in the investigation to say. All right, Jamie Yukas, thank you.